Welcome in all my friends, Lazy Retired Granny here. It is still Wednesday, August 23rd, 2023, and the time is 11.36 a.m. Yep, I'm continuing my journey on Craftably's Moonlight in the Garden by Bridget Both. A 30 by 24. <coughs> okay, so I am taking a break. I got my project done. And what in the world am I doing? I haven't diamond painted since my last whip and chatter. Yep, I did all of it without a break. How about that? <laughs> Yeah, once I started, it was like, you know, you can't stop. So, um, I had a mess. So, I just, it's like, uh, gotta keep going. But I'm hoping that I like the rearranging of what I did. We'll see once I get used to it. Of course, now that I got some things organized, <clears throat> I won't be able to find anything. You know how that is. I've probably got her totally confused. Everything's different now. Well, not everything, but part of it. Hold on, I got something at my door. Okay, I am back. <laughs> my son and daughter-in-law and grandsons just came down. They got their new puppy. So, yeah, I got to... Uh, Holder and her name's Lucille, and she is adorable. She has one ear that stays up, <laughs> and then um, she's the same color as Ellie, except for she has a white spot on the top of her not top of her head, but you know, down that neck area a little bit. I'll have to get some pictures. She is so cute. And just like Ellie, she has her liquor license. Yeah, she is adorable. They have three more puppies available. Well, actually two. They are, they're gonna keep one. But they're all male. Oh, excuse me. Hiccups. And they introduced her to Negan. And, of course, she's been used to being around other dogs and stuff. But, yeah, she latched on to Negan right away. And Negan thinks it's just the cat's meow. So I think that's going to help him settle down a little bit and have company during the day and, you know, romp around. But yeah, she's adorable. And she, they're doing the pet plan, the same place where I take Ellie. And, and of course that includes her spade and, um, shots and dewormer, everything the puppy needs. So. Yeah. It's 
So that's pretty exciting. Ellie wasn't really she went over and, um, you know, she was, I was holding Lucille and Ellie came over and, you know, was smelling her and licking her and stuff, but but then she went over to Kevin and Leanna and stuff, <laughs> wanted attention from them. And Trenton was over there um, house-sitting and dog-sitting <coughs> while um, the people who have the puppies um, were camping. And so he's already been around Lucille for a week. Lucille remembered him. Follows Trenton around, so... Oh my goodness, my throat's dry. Just one minute. Okay, that hit the spot. So, um, yeah, so she goes in, I think the 8th of September was the first available appointment for the puppy stuff. And then... Um, don't know if they made the appointment for the spade yet. So, so yeah, we got a new little puppy in the family. So, yeah, so I got to, um, oh, my grandson sent me a text. I had sent him some pictures. Um, of his dad, my son, when he was growing up and from when he was, you know, first born to adulthood. And so, yeah, those made it to him today. I've got some more stuff to send to him, so. I got to box that up. I thought, you know, I'll just send him a little bit at a time. Don't want to overwhelm him with keepsakes. So yeah, so today is going pretty good. Today's a good day. This is one of my good days. <laughs> I changed around where my record player's at and some of my records. So I got a Figure that out a little bit more, but I kind of decided that what I should do is um, um, sorry, I'm looking for pluses. Let's see if I got them all. Well, I'll come back and get them later if I didn't get them all. Um, I want to see how this system goes that I have in place now. Um, and then kind of tweak it a little bit. <clears throat> I think I can do the bees next. 59. Yeah, so I'm glad I got that done today.
part of my fall projects. When I had my house, I, during the fall and winter, I had a, I'll explain, I had a big living room in the front of the house and then in the back of the house that looked over the backyard um, was a family room out there and it had a fireplace and so during the spring and summer i didn't use the family room hardly at all and i was in the living room and then during the fall and winter that was the um i was in the family room because that's where the um fireplace was at and i like to have a fire going you know in the cold days of winter and so i always had to move things around from one room to another I am known for changing the house around. <laughs> the kids always tease me, you know, every time we come over, your house is different. <laughs> and they were over a lot. I was always changing my mind how I wanted the decor when I had the house. I could never make up my mind. So it was always during Labor Day weekend it was change the house around and then generally I would keep it like that until what was the next I can't remember probably until um, you know, the first of April. So I was mostly in my family room. Because <clears throat> I was there September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, about eight months, so... The decor stayed the same, it just went to a different room. <laughs> oh, I forgot that I filled that one up. It's spilling drills all over the place. My little bottles were running low, and so I had to open up some more packages or um, add to them. So, Becky, I guess, is kitten up her hula can. I think hers is a little 30 by 30. 
she's gonna be doing so we'll see what she thinks of who it can and you know because I thought I had done a hula can before, you know, five years ago, but I don't know which one it was. I, or if it was, I wanted to and never did or what. What'd you think of that puppy, Ellie? You want a little puppy? You want a little sister? <laughs> no. Not going to be happening in this household. One dog is enough. That's all I can afford. Oh, she's got her tom-toms a beat in here. growling. I haven't eaten today. I'm going to have to take a break and fill my belly. I am not a morning eater. I am, I like, um, sometimes, well, you know what, in the winter time, I'm more prone to eat breakfast, and I like toast and eggs, in the winter time, the fall time, so that's coming up. I eat more in the winter and I make lots of stews and soups in the slow cooker yet yeah, it's always I never put my slow cooker up comfort food Yeah, in the winter time, I could eat a stew every day. I love stew. Look at all those bees I missed. That's all right. They'll still be there when I. They'll be there when I'm moving on up. I haven't watched any more videos, so I don't even know. I haven't been on YouTube, so I don't even know if there's anything new that I need to watch. I did watch Crystal at Vago Day. She had a live last night, and that was over an hour long. I watched that this morning. The rebroadcast. Why can't I find that? I know what it is. 20. Yep. Um, yeah, she's gearing up to have another auction <clears throat> to raise money for one of the animal rescues or shelters, whatever she decides. So she's buying all these Afghan kits and cardigans and she's going to make a Mr. Rogers cardigan crochet it so I'm interested to see that I do not know how to crochet I have never knit a cardigan before it takes more work than I'm 
willing to put into something. <coughs> Excuse me. I have the door open again, and it's just starting to get sunny out there. It's not supposed to be hot. They say it's supposed to be... All right, here's what I got to notice, that the temperatures are cooling down now, so they're lifting the fire ban. Excuse me. We have had no rain. Everything is dry out there. And it's supposed to be in the 90s tomorrow, which is going to make everything that much more dry. Those winds come up in the evening. I wish they would wait until we've had a good rain or something. I would assume, and plus we still have the smoke coming in, so. Okay, let's burn the fields now, more smoke. Um. Thing I'm not in charge. I don't think in my area they do any field burning. Not that I've ever noticed. Of course, the field burning, they know how to how to do that, so. They, you know, burn safely. The thing that scares me is, um, and we've had this happen before here, is that it gets so dry and then farmers or whoever go in fields and work and the farm equipment gets so hot that it actually catches the field on fire. That has happened. I kid you not. That's what scares me because we have the Oregon State Fair starting this week. I think on Thursday or Friday. And it's all field parking. And I actually drove by there yesterday and I thought, why aren't they watering that down? Because you have people that travel, you know, to go to the fair and the cars are hot and then they park in the field. That could potentially start a fire. It seems like one year there was a fire. It was a car fire. Fire scare me, so I'm big on fire safety. <laughs> I have three fire extinguishers here. One is for electrical, one is for the um, stove or oven, you know, that catches on fire. And then there, I have a huge one that the landlord gave to me <laughs> that's outside. <clears throat> he knows that I have a real phobia with fires, so yeah. He drug that out and gave to me. So it's outside. <laughs> now, if I just wouldn't panic, if I had to use them. Uh, I think I'll do 11 next.
Yeah, so when I'm done here, I think I'll get a spot to eat and see what's on TV, if anything. I can't remember what I was watching. Oh, I got to check and see when the shows start in, is it September or October? I watch three shows on CBS and that's the only shows, new shows that I watch on TV and I can watch them on Paramount Plus. And that is, I watch Blue Bloods with Tom Selleck. I like that. Hopefully it'll be back. I haven't heard one way or the other. And of course, I'm a Survivor fan, so I watch Survivor. And I watch Young Sheldon because I am a Big Bang Theory fan. And I wish I could watch the reruns of Big Bang, but unfortunately I don't have that service. And there's only one that has it. I can't remember what it is, but we used to have it, but <gasps> Oh, excuse me. Didn't feel that coming. Took me by surprise. Yeah, so um, I look forward to that. But I gotta, I haven't been on TV for, you know, quite a long time. I'm not a big TV watcher, but um, probably more in the winter than I am in the summer. I used to, when I first retired, oh yeah, I was a big TV watcher. Because I was watching all the shows that I hadn't been able to watch because I worked and, and I had every channel imaginable so I could get caught up on everything, you know. I, I remember I was, I watched... Murder, She Wrote, got through all of that. Then I switched over to um, um, oh, what was the name of that? Um, Columbo. And then um, I watched all of those. And then I watched all the Perry Masons. And then, oh, what was that other one? Um, oh, dang it. remember the name of it but yeah I was going through series and I'd only watch one series at a time and um <clears throat> so yeah I was generally I was knitting and watching them or I was doing latch hook so I was watching them but for some reason it's hard for me to watch TV and diamond paint. And I think it's just because now I'm watching shows I haven't watched before and so I have to pay attention to what's going on. Wish I could think of that other show. It had Dick Van Dyke and his son in it. It was a mystery. Um... Well, they called it Murder 101. Oh, Sloan, I think, was their name. Mar no. Uh, I can't re remember. I watched all those. There was a number of mystery shows that I watched. And then um, I had the Hallmark Channel, so I watched all those little mystery shows. And 
then um, Acorn TV came and I found British shows. I like British shows. So that's about mostly what I watch now is British TV. I think I've mentioned that before. Oh my gosh, 30 minutes. Yep, I blabbered for 30 minutes. <laughs> of absolutely nothing. So, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to go make me some lunch. I don't know what I'm going to have yet. So, I'm going to plop down on the couch for a little bit, watch TV, and then... I'm going to come back and diamond paint some more. So that's my day and I'm sticking to it. Hopefully I get this section done today at least. I wanted this section up here too, but uh, I don't know. We'll just wing it. Okay, thanks for stopping by.